Applications of differentiation. In this video, we are going to continue with maxima and minima problems. You will find this on page 296 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. A wire 80 centimeters long is cut into two pieces. One piece is bent to form a square of side x centimeter and the other piece is bent to form a circle of radius r centimeter. The total area of the square and the circle is a centimeter square. Show that this will be the area for both. Given, okay, let's first just do that. Now, start. That is perimeter, 80 centimeters. So the length of the wire is the constraint, 80 centimeters. So let's start by saying the total perimeter of both figures is the square plus the circle. The square is uh, 4 times x, its perimeter, and circumference is 2 pi r. Substitute the 80. Then make r the subject of the formula. So I subtract and I divide by 2 pi. Okay, that 2 pi. Now we want to maximize the area. Now what's the area of a circle? The area of a circle, oh, not a circle, a square, is x times x. The area of the circle is pi r square. So substitute equation 1 into equation 2. 1 into equation 2 in the place of r. There's the square. So I square the top, I square the bottom. Now if I square the top, that's what I did there. So um, that's 2x, 2 pi times 2 pi, so it's 4 pi squared. Now this, if I square, I square the first term, multiply this two with each other, multiply two, and then square that term. But now, remember, I'm ending up, can I just want to show you that step. So I was ending up with pi, and in brackets was the 6, 4, 0, 0, Minus six four zero x plus sixteen x square. Okay. Now it's actually over that four pi square. Now basically, it's almost like you take out four there. So if I take out, let's just get my pen correct. If I take out four. There's the pi, then I will get one six zero zero minus one six zero x plus four x. That's if I div if I take out four. Oh, this mistake. Can I just correct it? It must not be a square anymore. Okay, because I already squared it. That's why I wrote the inside. Then I take out, basically I'm taking out 4. And then I, I sit with 4 pi squared. So basically I divide by the 4 and one of the pi's and that's why I'm ending up with that. Okay, I'm just going to take it away. I just wanted to show you there because that was a little bit just unclear. So I actually divide by 4 as well as with that pi. Okay, now I make the denominators the same. So, if I want to make the denominators the same, put this over 1. So, I must multiply with pi, multiply with pi. And that's why I get pi x squared like that. And now, group the terms. So, basically, what I'm doing, I'm going to say, um, I take out the x squared, so it's this 2. Can I just show you? Okay, so it's taking out x squared and it's pi plus 4 minus, and then this is just this, and then I just rewrite this too. Okay, so group the terms. It's just to help you as soon as I'm going to start with differentiation. So this is exactly what I got there. So now, given that x and r can write, find the value of x for which a has a stationary value. So now I'm just going to move it up a little bit. So dA over dx, and now if I differentiate to x, 
don't forget that is just a constant okay so it's you you could have even wrote it like this can i can i just show you you could have even said one over pi and then you could have just say uh, maybe it would have been easier to see pi plus four that's also a constant there's no x okay um minus 160 x plus 1600 <clears throat> so basically that is what's that so that's just a constant so if i if i differentiate this is going to be 2 so that's there is where it's 2x do you see that's just a constant uh, that's going to be minus 160 and that one is just going to fall away okay And then, okay, so for stationary values, I, if I want to find the stationary value, I put that equal to zero. That's what I did there. And then if I just multiply over cross, uh, can I again just show you? If you put this over one, so if I multiply that with zero, it's just becoming zero. So actually it's becoming there, just that two, oh, I can write here. 2, just get that bracket, pi plus 4, okay, x minus 1, 60, and that's equal to 0. Okay, because that's just what it's becoming. Uh, and then I take the 160 over, and I'm, I'm at that step, and then I make x, so I divide by this, divide by this, and then I'm getting... If I, if I calculate this, put, pressing it on my calculator, uh, so given that x, uh, find the value of x, so you see, and then I do as the syllabus says, state to three significant figures. If they say nothing, I just always approximate to three significant figures. And that's how you do it. Okay. I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. You can continue the video as soon as you are finished. The rectangle shows a metal plate consisting of a rectangle with side x centimeter and y centimeter and a quarter circle of radius x centimeter. The perimeter of the plate is 60. Now this is very important. The perimeter of the plate, perimeter, okay, is 60 centimeters. Express y in terms of x. Okay, so let's start. So the perimeter, it's just the distance around. And it's actually very easy. So if I get the, I don't want to take red, take yellow. So if I take the perimeter, now, now let's just see quickly. There's an x. Okay, I'm going to mark the sides. It's that x, but this one is also x. So that's y. If I just, and this is, so, and this is y, don't forget. And that's a quarter of a circle. So what, that will be a quarter of, what is the perimeter of a circle? 2 pi r. But r in this case, okay, it's, it's r, but remember that r in this case is x. So let's, let's just write down all, starting from there, going around, what will it be? So if I have a look at this, I will see that there is two x. Do you see? There's an x and there's an x. How many y's are there? There's also two y's. Do you see? Y, y. And then that's the quarter of the circle. So it's a quarter of two pi x okay and if I then going to just simplify the what is it 60 so it's going to be 2x plus 2y plus okay a quarter so it's a half can you see so we can just say it's pi x over 2 okay now I want to make y the subject of the formula. 
So by doing that, I can just keep one that side. It's all right. Take this one over. Uh, I forgot I should have bring that X also um, this X also over. So it's the 60, that one, and then the 2x. Okay, and then I'm just going to say to get, I just divide 2, divide 2, divide 2, divide 2. So therefore, y is equal, that divide 2 is 30. And if I'm going to divide, it's actually multiply then a half. So it's going to give me that minus by x over 4 and then minus x minus x okay and that will be then in terms of y so express y in terms of x this is what they asked me that was number a now I'm going to get go to number b show that the area of the plate is given by this now don't forget I first have to work out the area so it's actually, if I look at the area, I'm going to say it's the area of the rectangle plus a quarter circle. Now what is the area of a rectangle? It's length times breadth. And what is the area of a circle? It's pi r square. Okay, so what is the length and the breadth? So it's y times x. or xy plus uh, a quarter but remember r is x so pi x squared okay but now don't forget that I have y so in the place of y I'm going to put that third okay I, I prefer that let's put sorry I'm going to just for writing Let's put the x in front and then put that whole y and it's pi x squared over 4. So I'm just going to move this. So this is going to be 30x minus pi x squared over 4 minus x squared plus pi x2 over 4. Okay, so did you see, oh this is nice, okay, did you see what happened here? It's always nice if things cancel out. Did you see this is exactly the same, a negative and a positive. So what is left? It's going to be 30x minus x squared. Exactly as it stood there. That's for the area. So I prefer that you say area again. Okay. Okay. And then we go to number C. Find the value of x for which it, uh, A is stationary. So stationary differentiate. So I just want to move it up. See if I put still in. So if I come to number C, I'm going to say, okay, first rewrite it. It's actually a nice formula to differentiate. So I'm going to say dA by dx is equal to 30 minus 2x. Okay. So basically, for stationary points, Point dA by dx will be zero, so it will be zero equals thirty so it's two x equals thirty, therefore x will be equal to fifteen. Okay, and that's what they asked me. Find the value of x for which I is... Okay, that's finished. 
So find the stationary value of A and determine whether it's a maximum or a minimum. Okay, so I have to move up still. Okay, so this is now if I'm I'm going to if, if I'm I just going to substitute this into the area. Do you see there? So if I'm having the 30 and I substitute it in 15 minus 15 squared. And that is going to give me an answer of 225 centimeters squared. Okay, so that's the area. And now I must just test if it's a minimum or a maximum. So I, I'm going for second differentiation. Oh, and I must indicate always very important the way of writing. It's it's formal maths, so um, it's it's very important that you write the things correct. So I'm going to differentiate again this formula. And if I differentiate it again, it will just be negative 2. Do you see? And that will be smaller than 0. It's actually just a negative. You could have said that. So therefore, uh, maximum, because it's negative, maximum value of A. So there's a maximum point or a max maximum value at the point A.